Updated the 5th of October 2017, 1825 AD. The modern smartphone era, as kicked off by the launch of the first iPhone 10 years ago, is now mature. At the launch of Google's Pixel 2 phone in San Francisco today, CEO Sundar Pichai acknowledged smartphone features were leveling off and said it was hard to develop exciting new products based on hardware alone. Google said it is in a transition from a mobile-first company to an i-first business. The machine learning part of artificial intelligence is one of Google's strengths. Neural machine translation now understands 96 languages and does 2 billion translations per day. A demonstration that best illustrated the power of the new integrated Google was a live translation featuring a woman speaking Swedish while wearing wireless Google Pixel Buds headphones to a person holding a Google Pixel phone and speaking English. Machine Learning ML has already revolutionized the photography workflow by taking pictures, adding effects, and most importantly finding images in a large collection. ML powers the Google Assistant that lets us to Google search as by simply asking questions. The ability to access other big data sets, including maps, means natural but sophisticated questions such as is the chemist on Station Street open can be answered faster using speech than a web search. Google continues to advance software technology to build better machine learning models. Their Automol takes some of the previously required human expertise out of the model building and produces results that improve month by month. Many questions to the Google search engine are not easy to express in words and work is underway on Google Lens which can look at, for example, an advertising flyer and read the phone number, email address or web URL from it and take the appropriate action for the user. The lenses in this year's update of the Daydream VR viewer have been improved by the application of in-house lens simulation software that allowed the team to vastly increase the number of lens design variables that could be tried compared to previous techniques. A compact, standalone camera, Google Clips, has built-in machine learning that watches the scene playing out and selects the most photogenic stills as short clips for your library without human intervention. This ML model is running on the tiny device and demonstrates Google is responding to concerns about privacy from key competitor Apple. Google Home Mini, a compact version of last year's Google Home, will sell for $79, like its more expensive predecessor. This one brings the ability to simply talk to the Google Assistant by prefixing your question a command with Hey Google. About the size of your hand and with a clean, clothed top design, these gadgets bring other household devices into the age of speech control and are hoped to replace kitchen timers, weather stations, recipe books, radio, light switches, air conditioning control and even your bedside alarm clock. The smartphone era has revolutionized our world. Smartphones are our most used devices but Google and Apple both know the race is on to figure out what will come next. Apple has shown control of both hardware and software is key to a coherent experience and Google has clearly taken that to heart with the made-for-Google products we now see. Google is strong where Apple is weak, in the robust cloud services and machine learning expertise, and it's clear they're focused on exploiting advantage to chip away at the powerful Apple ecosystem. Peter Marks is a software developer and is in San Francisco as a guest of Google.